I read 42 books on how to get rich off sales. Some were worthless. Some I didn't even agree with, but the ones that I'm gonna break down in this video help change my sales career to the next level. I went from a regular sales telemarketer to someone building my own sales agency doing over $35 million in just six years. So in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna break down the most valuable lessons and information that I learned from these books so that you can become I'm rich off sales. When I first picked up this book, I thought it was kind of stupid. I was actually looking for tactical advice that's gonna help me close more deals, but this book isn't really that. What it is instead, it's a story of how to achieve success in life and in sales through 10 valuable lessons that they teach. All these lessons ultimately do is help build a fundamental foundation of how to go about in this role as a sales professional. And the way that the author author shares these lessons with us is actually by telling us a story. And the story is of this boy named Tamid, who's a poor camel boy, and he meets this rich mentor, the most successful salesperson in the world. Obviously, the poor guy wants to learn all these lessons, become famous and become rich. The rich person, the mentor, hands him these 10 lessons. In the book, they're actually scrolls. And when I was a new salesperson, I actually remember me being very like upset that there was no tactics in it. But when I started reading the scrolls, when I started reading the book, the novel, I was getting so much valuable insight because all the core 10 lessons were actually super insightful in my journey in the beginning because it allowed me to think a certain way. It gave me the foundations that I needed to build on to the skill set. And I feel like this is where the word, the catchphrase sales is life comes from because this book literally emulates that. It's the story of this kid's life and how he became successful, wealthy, and rich by reading these scrolls and ultimately improving himself so he could become that next person. I really recommend this book for someone who's starting off or someone who needs to reignite their passion for sales because sales is life. And once you have a strong foundation in your life, you'll ultimately become the greatest salesman in the world. So now you have the foundations. This book is a masterclass in sales tactics, techniques, and skill set. You can't teach a kid how to ride a bike at a seminar. Now this book has a lot of things in it. Like if you're looking for a sales framework, how to script out your entire call, it has it. If you wanna learn about tonality or active listening, this book has it. But the main concept in this book is number one, you gotta learn by experiencing, you gotta go through trial by fire. You can't just think about something. You have to go out there on the field and start taking calls, practice, go door knocking, go through the fire. That's when you're going to gain all this experience so that you can understand exactly what's actually being taught to you. And so you can change the things that aren't working and focus on the things that are working. Another main concept in this book is actually reverse selling strategy. Back in the day when people used to just pitch the product, the bells and the whistles, that was like the normal normal salesy way to sell. But when Sandler released this method, it actually switched it around where it was now reverse selling, where you're asking very strategic questions and you're getting the prospect to tell you all the information, to give you all the context. In return, you're then able to focus on the pain, not the, not the product, but the pain that the product solves, which is what someone wants. They don't care if someone's buying a water bottle, the prospect wants to quench their thirst this will make you not thirsty anymore, right? That's the solution that the water bottle solves. Really fundamental book. If you read it, then get the tactics, you'll get the theory, you'll understand what it really means to be a great salesperson. Okay, now this next book is probably an all-time favorite of mine. So in sales, we talk to so many different people from all different backgrounds and walks of life. And this book is a human psychology book. And the way that it's gonna help you is by understanding how to talk to a stranger because here's the thing right i have one perspective based on the life that i've lived beginning of sales when you haven't talked to many people or when you don't know many different perspectives you're just going to be able to go off of your own this book essentially teaches you that when you're talking to a stranger it's very hard because what we do naturally as humans is we have our own biases we have our own thoughts and we judge 
people based off of their appearances, based on how they look and sound. And in sales, you don't want to be judging because you don't know. You don't want to assume anything about anyone because you genuinely don't know until you figure it out. Now, the process of figuring it out is by having that conversation. And this book does a great way of sharing some real life stories of what actually happens when someone just judges someone from one perspective, from their own frame of mind. And some bad stuff can really happen, right? We've seen it in the news police brutality and all these things but they also share some beautiful stories of what can happen when we have an understanding for one another and so it's actually one of my favorite books because it gave me such deep insight into strangers and when i'm speaking with strangers every single day in the sales profession i want to understand i want to be strong in this skill set so that i can best help them solve their problems so great book go listen to it Okay, so the next book I have here is called The Win Without Pitching Manifesto. And this book is actually for the natural salesy person, the person who's more behind the decks, the person who's maybe like an engineer, creative type, who doesn't want to hardcore close someone on a call, someone who runs a small business, who is more product focused instead of people focused, but you still got to sell the people to get them to buy the product. And so this book will give you real life frameworks and tactics on on how to make sales without actually needing to be salesy, how to position yourself as an expert in the industry and how to not need to make a lot of sales. So it's an interesting book for a very specific type of person. And so if you wanna not become the best salesperson in the world, but wanna still be able to make sales, read this book, it might help you. All right, now it's time to take it up a notch. The next book is Persuasion by Robert Cialdani. This book is literally like a full-on dictionary. It's very hard to read. It took me a, a lot of different attempts to read this entire book. I even listened to it on an audiobook because it's so dense. It's very tactical and it'll make you a master. I don't want to say manipulator, but I'll say influencer. Okay. It's a better word for it. It's the dark arts, sort of the dark arts. So use it wisely. You'll have a lot of responsibility once you learn the persuasion tactics. This book collects findings from from hundreds of psychology studies about persuasion and decision making. And all the research papers that were studied in this book pretty much say that you can persuade your prospect greatly by a few of the tactics that were taught in this book, such as priming your prospect, linking associations from other people, popular figures to the business, and also the timing of when you say certain things, the delivery of your pitch. This book is so powerful that it even has a whole chapter dedicated to ethical use when you should or shouldn't use the tactics that this book teaches you to persuade someone so learn it use the skill set wisely use it for good help others and then make some money for yourself the next book we got here is Same Side Selling. This is more of a modern way of selling. And the way that this book kind of illustrates this is think of a table, okay? The prospect is sitting on this side of the table. Where would you be sitting as a salesperson? Take a guess. If you said on this side, you're wrong. You're thinking of the old school way of selling. Same side selling is you're sitting right beside them. You're their advisor. You're their strategic guidance. Instead of focusing on the pitch more, you're actually focusing on the fitment. Can we even serve you? Can we even help you? And then you're understanding why would you even want to change? Why is this something that you're even considering now? Why are you even looking at us to help you with the solution. I want to understand. So I understand your perspective, your questions, and ultimately understand you and your pain points. And if I feel like it's something that I can absolutely help you with, that's the only way that I'm going to help you because I want you on my side. We're on the same team and we're going to work together for a long term. So this is essentially the gist of this book and it breaks down more tactics on how to 
think this way and then how to approach your calls uh, with that type of manner and demeanor. Okay, great book, more modern, let's get it. Okay, this next book that I have for you will allow you to take leaps and bounds forward from just being a regular sales rep to becoming a sales leader who can build sales teams. And this book is Predictable Revenue by Aaron Ross. When I read this book, this was when I had to scale a team and build systems for scaling and just make more money. And this is a guide on how Salesforce grew their company using cold calling 2.0, essentially how they structured their CRM, what systems they use for outbound dialing, how they approach their calls, how they built their entire team up so that they could scale and make a lot of money and grow very fast. And when I read this book, it was like, just gave me a lot of clarity when I had to build my own outbound sales team. And it allowed me to copy some of the greats in this industry. Salesforce is one of the biggest sales companies out there. And now they're, you know, very heavily tech enabled. They have massive sales teams as well. Great book. If you want to learn how to make again really good money and build sales teams and systems read this book all right this next book i have for you guys is an og book we're talking spin selling situation problem implication need payoff questions this book is going to teach you exactly what to say when to say it to get a prospect from a all the way to the end z so you can close them while being very persuasive making sure that they're saying all the things that they need to for them to then share the problems and buy the solution so og book has a lot of questions very tactical as well read it you'll be able to write your script out and know exactly what to say next book we have is daniel pink to sell is human everyone is in sales, whether you like it or not, you are a salesperson. Because every time you communicate with someone or you say you want something, you ultimately have to convince yourself or someone else to then get that thing. So you are a salesperson, let's go. And so what we have to understand is this book essentially takes us away from the traditional salesperson, right? Oh, you're selling car, oh, you're selling insurance, or oh, you're selling houses. No, everyone is in sales because everyone is trying to persuade or influence someone to ultimately get what they want in life. And the best salesperson are the people that are human, the ones who genuinely care for others, the, the ones that genuinely want to serve other people to the best of their ability. And when you you understand that this concept of selling is the most like natural thing that you can do ever since we were beginners ever since we were you know cavemen we're trading we're convincing hey you give me this i will give you this <laughs> That's in our human DNA, right? To sell is human. You learn this skill set, become the best version of yourself, and actually be able to make impact and create change for the better for this world. Those were the nine books that changed my sales career forever, and I've linked all of them down below. See you in the next one. Peace.